I needed to tell you before it got out of hand. Who is she then? Some dolly bird who fluttered her eyelashes at you across the bar? I've seen what you and the market boys are like when an attractive girl walks in here. I can handle a bit of harmless flirting. It's only natural, isn't it? I don't think this is a crush. I think I love her. I don't believe you. Please, Mick, if this is a wind-up... It's not a wind-up. I'm so sorry. How far is it gone? It's just a kiss. How many times? Once. Were you drunk? No. I haven't been drinking, though. Did she go in first? Oh, did she? No. <laughs> Don't you touch me. When? It was a couple of months ago. Then you've waited until now to tell me. I thought I could fix it. So that voicemail. You know, and I had to because the guilt, it was like eating me you up. You said that if I didn't come home, there'd be nothing left for me to come back I, to. I felt like I was drowning. So you love her? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know what I feel. I just. Well, you either love her or you don't, Mick. So which is it? Answer me. I care about her. You know where this is, don't you? We got together too young. I should have let you play the field, get it out of your system. I only ever wanted to be with you. Then why did you kiss someone else? I don't know. I don't know. She got inside my head. So you're saying that she went after you? No. You know the problem is, Mick, that you're like a little boy. You don't know about women. You say it's love. It's just infatuation. It was more than that. No, no, it isn't. Why do you think I made you come back? Because I don't know what would have happened if you didn't. 